What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to the third Wilson's Heart video where everything gets super freaking intense. Stuff is falling from the sky, we gotta beat stuff up, there are mysteries and blood and brutality, it is the worst. But that also kind of makes it the best, so that is coming, but first we gotta announce the winner of that awesome Wilson's Heart memorabilia mystery box. The big winner is... Da -da 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 right up here you will win congrats congrats either get a hold of me or I'll get a hold of you and we'll make sure we get that box to you you can message me on Twitter or I will find you and we will make sure that you get your prizes including the very very creepy bear who may be making a repeat appearance in today's episode. Big thanks to Oculus for making this all possible, sponsoring the videos, and providing that awesome memorabilia box. You're gonna love it, I know it. And now, let's get back to freaking ourselves out in this very, very scary hospital. And onwards, Wilson, deeper into the hospital's heart. As we look for our own heart, we make our way to the hydrotherapy ward. Sounds like a very dangerous type of therapy, as that octopus creature agrees. Hello, Sir Kraken. Search for missing bodies continues, and we'll continue down the stairs. Slow and steady, down we go to the depths of this world. Oh, Wilson, where is your hey. heart? Anyone down here? Yeah, this place looks freakier than any. Hmm, what are we gonna find? What are we gonna find? A very heavy door with a peak hole. Oh dear. <gasps> what is that? Freaking marshmallow man pulling a girl through a wall. And there is just darkness all around. This is not good. Actually, like, I kind of look like a big daddy, didn't he? That's freaking weird. Let's get the power on, baby. Please. Before I get spooked again. Didn't sound very good. Eh? Okay, some lights clearly went on. Got a radio. Hello? Can we actual radio shows? Hello. Oh, there. Weird. Radio plays in pitch black hallways. Goodness gracious, another dark door. And we've got... A... Ooh, I thought it was going to be locked. I almost said locked door, but it's not locked at all. And in we see... What is this? What do we have here? Hmm. Uh, like a defibrillator machine or some sort of... Some sort of machine. It looks like we can... Yeah, we can uh. pick this bad boy up. What is this? Some heavy machine. Okay, well, let's leave it for now. Don't want to hoist that all over town. Okay, we got a little uh, little toolbox. Flick that open. And inside we find a screwdriver. And a note. Give me that note. It says, Gary, you need gloves to pull the tub plug. Something is wrong with the water. Oh, God, that does not sound good. What is wrong with the water? Got toilet paper, calendars, and more impending darkness. Take me away. Too deeper? Ooh, there's the tub. Let's look at this water. Hello? Yeah, that's pretty grimy. That's pretty grody. Ugh, that's a gross word, isn't it? Grody? Grimy, grody, gross. All of it is just yuck, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stick my hands in there until we have gloves, cause uh, looks like somebody showed up for bath time and then lost their soul. Clothes on the floor and a bright light. Hello? Oh, is this the? Hello, anyone in oh, here? Oh jeez, it's too dark. <laughs> I'm getting chills. I don't like this. Get out of here, Wilson. Let's go back to the light, please. Which way, USA? Where are we trying to get? Um, no, this is back to the creepy zone. Wilson, get out of here before we get freaked. Okay, aha, this is where I want to go. New place. Ooh, there's a key. I mean, a padlock. Aha! The game does kind of like show you what you need, so it, it hoists up that uh, 
that little note. I didn't even know this is on the back of it, but it's teaching us. Okay, so we gotta go left to five. Then we're gonna go right to three, and then left to eight. Right to four. And then back left to one, and we should be in business. There we go. The note is no longer needed. The cage is unlocked, and there are our gloves waiting for us to dump into that gosh darn water. Okay, let's go let's go try this out. Stick my hands in the spooky tub. Probs not gonna end well, but hey. We gotta do what we gotta do to get out of this hospital. I don't know, I never I, I never like touching gross things. Even with gloves, it doesn't like it doesn't take away from the knowing. You know? Okay, right. hey. Notes and keys, that wasn't so bad at all. <gasps> oh god! Holy freak! Tentacles? Oh, mama! What in the world? Oh my god, it's got my wrists! I didn't even see that! Holy crap, chop this thing off! Get off! Oh, dude, I thought the screwdriver was gonna be to pick a log, not to pick an octopus off of my arms! What the heck are you, you cracking beast? Oh my gosh. Yo! Okay, what if we... Let's go back to the defibrillator thing, electric box. That's kind of a purpose, and since we can lift it and can carry it, I'm guessing they want us to take it to good old, uh, good old tentacle brains. He doesn't really have eight legs, I don't think, so not really an octopus, more like a quadrant mouth. <laughs> All right. Yes! Electric boogaloo in the big boy's mouth. That's my kind of party. There we go. Bastard, you gonna know what a hot bath is. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful. Maybe I can... hmm. More pages. Another idol. My heart is evolving. This is good news. This is good news. Alright, moon face. What does it do? Oh god. Okay. Oh, here's the uh mm, this helps. Alright, the wanderer. Turn the tub of the device to reveal this idol. Throw the device at a target by releasing the grip or trigger. Control the direction in air by moving your hand. Catch the returning device. Ooh, okay. So it's like a projectile, I guess? Hmm. All right. <gasps> oh God, what no! Please. Do do? What do I do? What? Oh my Lord! What are these monstrosities? Okay, throw this new power. Yes. Okay, we can take them out with our ball of light. But these guys. Okay, the darkness, tall dudes, the skinny, freaking long things were fine. But now we've got these are like body mergers. Oh my gosh, they're taking limbs, throwing them in a blender, and then smoothing it up and delivering it straight to us. I don't want you! Stay back! Good gosh, okay. I like curving though, this. Here we go. Send this thing at them. Alright, keep them at bay. Oh, they just keep freaking coming. Get out of town! The motion's actually pretty good. You can kind of guide this thing wherever you want. And then wham, catch it back. Throw it out. Knock him down. Catch it back. Oh my. It reminds me of a... Uh, well, I'm not going to say because it would be a spoiler for another game. But if you know what I'm talking about, it, it, it's a game from 2016. Let me know. Well, I wonder I wonder how many of you get the reference I'm making. Anyhow. Still more body mergers. Get off of each other. You're only supposed to have four limbs. You don't need any more. That's better. Jeez, oh, Pete. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Good thing we got that power. Save their lives, baby. Okay. Uh oh. Open the door. The padded room. What is in store? So, this is what the inside of one of these rooms looks like. Jeez, 
This is a little freaky to be in here. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh no, not this again. Okay, well hey. Shit. At least the door didn't disappear. It just went to the... Went to where to go. Aha! The ceiling, alright. See if this thing still has some juice. What are we gonna do? What are we knock the door down? Oh, okay, that was an accident, but I'll take it. Knock these lights. And then our door friend is gonna fall. Aha! Get back here, you little worm. Not gonna let you get away from me. But you opened. Tricky. Tricky, 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 I like it. Oh god, this doesn't look good. Tight corners. Dark hall. Oh wow, that's not good. Oh my gosh. It just keeps going. Hello? <gasps> oh dang. What oh the heck happened here? Got like a key. Note that the time is exactly 5.43 in the p.m. on October 20... What's the date? The 26th. October 26th, 1947. This is the fifth day of observation on Mr. Mosby, who was found rambling in the hospital halls, claiming that he undergoes physical and psychological changes when the moon is full. Dr. Loomis can elaborate. Doctor? Thank you, Dr. West. The patient appears to be under severe duress at almost all times of the day and refuses to listen to reason. He continues to ramble about changing into another creature when another creature? Born. Such wild statements Oh, werewolf, are okay. for brain trauma victims, but Mr. Mosby appears to suffer no fractures of any kind on his skull, and all of his motor functions seem fine. There is the possibility of split personality syndrome, but he doesn't appear to show any symptoms that normally pertain to people with such illness, other than the rambling which seems to stay consistent and coherent, oddly enough. And what do you recommend for next steps? Well, the proper thing for now is to keep him in a straitjacket and locked in his room. He should remain under observation for the next three weeks with an increased dosage of... Uh-oh. Uh, what, what happened? A power outage, I suppose. Is the machine still recording? That's strange. Yeah. It is. Oh my god! Sam, what the hell is happening? I, I don't know. I don't know! Christ. Oh, help! Somebody help us! Father! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! That didn't sound good. At all. <laughs> Some creature. It kind of looks like the claw marks from the freaking teddy bear, though. It sounds like a werewolf, but I guess maybe the teddy bear was also activated by the moon? Hello, dead dudes. What we got going on here? Can I grab that from you? Oh, let's lift him. Ugh. Torn apart. Yeah. Crowbar could come in handy, though. Could come in handy. What? Uh oh. Couldn't be easy, could it? Uh. Not liking this. Oh god. This thing moves. The wall just like closed in on me. What the heck? This is my favorite part when like the world just like deforms around us. Reminds me of Silent Hill almost. And we're shifting the wall back. Ah! Farther. I guess we went pretty far down this hall, so we got a lot of a lot of ways to push, huh? Keep on going. I like how they incorporate like two-hand stuff. Ooh. A door. A door, a door, a door. Hello? I cannot go in the door. Also it doesn't seem to let me grab here. Can't go to the door, can't go backwards. Where do I go? Definitely can't grab. Do I... Not the lights. Not my heart. Help! I'm trapped. Yeah, 
that's not gonna work. Oh no! It is him, it is the bear, it is the bear! <laughs> ah! Holy crap! Get off me! Get out of here! What the heck? Do I have to... Ow! Oh, I actually am supposed to punch him, okay! Dude, get That's off my no face! Way to treat a pal. Leave me alone! Have a heart, Wilson. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> oh my God, what a jerk! What a jerk! It definitely was him. He's the creepy patient they're talking about. Can I get in here, please? No? Locked. Locked. Okay. Gosh. Um, what do we got over here? Wilson's looking up. It's making me super nervous. Drawers, drawers, drawers. Uh, this says, these chemicals are dangerous. Put them away. What's happening? What's happening? This drawer says, don't. Don't what? Grab it, Wilson. Get it. Come on. Don't. I oh, this is just too much. Don't. Don't. Grab the freaking paper oh my god <laughs> now is this happening right now don't what tell me tell me tell me don't 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 okay try the other hand there we go don't look up no ah! goodness gracious Get punch him punch him punch Ow. him punch him ah. let's use these chemicals let's try this there we go smash him crash him bloody bash him i don't even care freaking terrifying bear get back in your painting Okay, we're gonna go for round two. I was kidding. I'm a kidder. No, you're not a kidder. Ouch. You're a killer. Replace those letters, buddy. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We put him in the painting. Check this out. Grab one of these. You little bastard. Light him up. Oh, dude. Oh my God, that's so freaking freaky. Jesus. This game just got so much more intense. Oh God, and now we have to go into his private room. <sighs> what is going on, Wilson? <sighs> that is almost just too much. With a VR on, it's like so much more intense. Literally sweating. I felt like I wanted to just take all my clothes off, but then I would have been even more scared because I would have been exposed and that bear would have... <sighs> it's just a bad, bad, bad situation. But we got past him and I think we burned him up once and for all. So thank you so much for watching our Wilson's Heart Adventure. I hope you enjoyed. Congrats again to the winner of the Mystery Box. And thank you for everybody uh, who watched these videos and who is a part of the Ghost Row Army. I love you all and I appreciate you all so, so much. So thanks again. We'll try some new VR stuff in the future. I think I need a little break right now. <sighs> Settle down the nerves. Calm the tension. That was awesome. That was intense. That was Wilson's heart. Until next time, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. That's the Adrian Social. I love you. And we will see you all later.